guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do this little pop art zombie. So if you're interested in seeing how this was done, just keep watching. I'm going to first take this Nazaru face paint in the color C blue and start mapping out everything on my face. The best way to do this is to look at a reference photo. I just googled a picture of a cartoon pop art zombie and use that as my reference and just change the colors around a little bit. I think the one I was looking at was pink, but I decided to make mine majority blue. So just find a reference photo that you like and try to map your face out accordingly. Now taking some pink Snazaru face paint, I'm going to fill in the part that's going to be my exposed brain. And then taking some white Snazaroo face paint, I'm going to fill in both of my eyebrows white because I want to go over them with a purple eyeshadow later. And if I just put purple eyeshadow over my eyebrow, obviously because my eyebrows are dark, it's not going to show. So I'm going to lay down some white first. That way when I put down the purple, you'll be able to actually see it. The purple that I'm going to use is from the Morphe Picasso palette and I'm just going to pack that all over my eyebrows and it doesn't really matter how messy it is because I'm just going to clean up the lines with paint later on anyways. So now taking that blue paint and a small brush, I'm going to go ahead and fill in all the areas surrounding the eyebrows and all the little areas where I want the blue to be. I'm kind of jumping around randomly here, but right now I'm filling in my lid on my right side with some black face paint and then I'm gonna blend that out with some purple eyeshadow. I'm also gonna run the purple eyeshadow around my lower lash line as well. Taking a small detail brush and some pink face paint, I'm going to start from my lower lash line and drag that color down because later on when I blend the purple, I want it to blend into the pink. Then again, going back with the small brush and the blue face paint, I'm going to fill in all the areas that I want the blue paint to be. And then I take a larger brush with that same blue paint and I just fill in the larger areas. Don't forget to also cover your ears.
I didn't realize my camera had stopped recording, but as you can see, I dried that purple color all around my right side of my eye. And on my left eyelid, I took some dark blue face paint and I filled in my entire eyelid and winged it out. Now taking some pink face paint, I'm going to fill in that blank area under my left eye. This is where it's going to droop down a little bit and make it kind of cartoonish. I took some pink eyeshadow from that Morphe 12P palette and I packed that underneath my eye. One for creasing and two because I wanted it to be a little bit of a darker pink than the brain part. Now with a white Snazaroo face paint, I'm going to create the shape of the teeth and I'm going to make kind of squiggly lines and then later on I'm going to outline them to make them look like teeth. But right now I'm just laying down that white color. Taking some black Snazaroo face paint, I'm going to outline the entire open mouth area. And then I'm going to take some red Snazaroo face paint and I'm going to fill in all those blank spaces in the open mouth, right between the black and the white. And then what I did next was I took the black face paint and I flicked it up into the red to create a gradient and then I took some more red face paint and I flicked it down into the black so that those two colors blend together. I'm not sure where this footage went, but I took some black Snazaroo face paint and I outlined the teeth and then I took some pink Snazaroo face paint and I filled in the lips to the other half of the mouth. And now for the detail work, I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. I'm going to first start off with outlining the brain portion and then I'm going to fill in the details by just adding little squiggly lines and other little squiggly lines coming out of those squiggly lines. There's really no way to mess this up, just add little squiggles. Now while trying to be very careful, I'm going to outline both of my eyebrows with black face paint. And then by either copying your reference photo or kind of just willy nilly doing it, I'm just going to add little detail lines around my eyes, around my temples, around my cheekbones. For the most part, I just copied my reference photo, but then I did add some little lines of my own wherever I felt like I needed them. And then I added some little dots as well just to create some more texture. For the nose, I just filled in the entire tip of the nose black and then I extended it upwards creating kind of a triangle. You 
You guys, I really don't know what was going on this day, but apparently it stopped recording again. But here is just a freeze frame of some more accent lines that I added. I added some wrinkle lines underneath my eye and I added that red gash with some red face paint. And I also added some accent lines on my pink lips as well. Now taking a dark gray eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and shade out underneath all of those lines just to create some depth and make it look a little more sunken in in some areas. I also shaded around the brain just to add some depth over there as well. But then I also went back in with some more black Snazaroo face paint because some of those lines kind of disappeared as I was shading. Now as always, whenever you shade, you should also highlight. So I'm taking some white face paints and I'm going to add that to all of the areas opposite from where you shaded. For example, if you shaded the left side of a line, you're going to highlight the right if you shaded the bottom part of a line, you're going to highlight the top. Starting on my neck and body, I'm just going to trace out that area where it's going to be open. And then with some white, I'm going to draw some rounded out rectangles for the bones. And once I have it all drawn out, I'm going to fill it in. And then I'm going to fill in all the areas surrounding the bone within that open area with black face paint. I'm using a small brush, that way I don't accidentally get any black into the white part. Also with that black, I added some detail lines to the bones. And then with a big brush, I'm going to take that sea blue and fill in the rest of my upper body. As you can see here, I added some extra accent lines surrounding the open area with black and I added some white ones on the inside. Taking some black face paint, I'm going to start creating another open wound on my shoulder. I'm going to create kind of a diamond shape and then fill it in with red face paint. Then added a black line right on my collarbone and then I'm going to take some yellow face paint and I'm going to create kind of a cloud-like shape. This is going to be like some goo or some slime, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you're also going to fill that in with the yellow face paint and then you're going to take some more black face paint and you're going to outline that shape and then fill it in with some curved lines and some little dots for texture. A 
of course, don't forget to highlight. Once I'm done adding my last minute details, then I'm ready to throw on my contacts and my wig. And there you have her, your little pop art zombie. This is actually one of my favorite looks that I've done. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me any comments if you have any questions. I think that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I la 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 love you and until next time, bye bye Working. I'm about to bag it up.